Hey guys, it's Clint again. Just wanted to outline what I think the next step should be for our uh, kipping pull-up progression. Uh, beginner two, kipping swing with a jumping pull-up. Uh, this will be uh, helpful to develop some coordination after the ring rail where we develop some strength, kind of putting it together. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Good guys, so equipment needed, you're going to need some kind of platform, it'll vary uh, depending on the height of the athlete, um, but the measurement you want to use is on top of the platform with straight legs and a straight arm. Uh, the forearm should be uh, even with the pull up bar right in the middle of that forearm. That's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, if you want to make it a little more challenging for them, uh, it can be a little bit deeper, but start them here, make it basic. This one is about developing coordination. There will probably be some strength development, but it's not the main goal of it. And it'll still be good exercise, very aerobically demanding. Uh, but addressing the bar, uh, shoulder width, stuff we know. Uh, one thing I'm a stickler about, and I encourage you guys to follow suit, is grab the thumb. It's not me being mean. I know I have big hands, but gripping should be consistent across all the stuff we do. Uh, when we climb the rope outside, we don't climb it like this. When we swing the kettlebells, we don't grip them like this, nor would we deadlift a power clean. The thumb is there for safety as well as developing full grip, as well as activating the entire lat, the big muscle of the pull up. So, wrap the thumb. You're going to bend the knees softly until those arms are straight. Make sure the athlete is keeping the shoulder active. We don't want to disconnect in the shoulder, and also watch that active shoulder throughout the whole range of motion for the step. So it's going to look like this. Press forward into that tight arch. Arms are long. You're going to work back into a hollow position. Still soft bend in the knees. Once we hit here, we jump, pull, and we punch back down, which will help us get into the next swing. Okay. Common faults here, guys. It's bending the arms in the front of the swing. And that'll look like this. Make sure you're encouraging the athlete to stay bent in the knees and straighten those arms out. Okay? The other fault, when they make the jump and they clear the bar, they lower straight down. Okay? You want to encourage a punch back or a layback. Okay, front, back. I lay myself behind the bar. That encourages me to do that. Okay? A thing we also want to watch out for safety. Make sure that they when they hit the top, they come down quickly. We don't want to see a slow negative. Okay? Standard to advance. Uh, we want to see 10 uh, clean, unbroken, those ring rows from below. And then we also want to see a very clean and uh, fluid swing on the box, looking like this. If the athlete has both of those together, then they can think about moving on to intermediate. Okay, so that's number two. 